I noticed that about a third of the people with this poll that I had posted on Facebook suggested that we should push Hillary off a cliff. Uh, I asked if anybody was pushing for uh, the Democrats, if any of the Democrats were pushing for Hillary in 2020. Weird, they'll go on and on about how she was a good choice, but if she's such a great choice, why aren't you pushing for her in 2020, right? If she was such a great choice and she was our savior and she was going to do everything that, you know, she needed to do or that we needed for the government to do, wouldn't she still be good in 2020? So interesting that a lot of Democrats, pro-Hillary Clinton loving Democrats, uh, would not and, you know, defend her campaigning in 2020. Even Bill Maher was sitting there saying that she just needs to go away. What do you mean, Bill? That's your girl. That's who you voted for. Why do you want her to just go away? When you Hillary Clinton sycophants are just as obsessive as the so-called progressives. These weak motherfuckers, man. You guys are all, okay, so the progressives are saying they're willing to say push her off a cliff, right? That's how far they're going. Go ahead, and basically they're advocating murder, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, I know it's just bullshit talk or what have you, uh, but that's how far they'll talk when it comes to uh, Hillary Clinton. But then I say let's impeach Trump, and they say, no, he can't do that. Pence, you know, we can't, no, we can't. I know it's a, he's a war criminal. I know he's bombing seven countries, and he's got the entire power of the entire military-industrial complex in his grasp. I know we got boots on the ground in Somalia. We're at, escalating Afghanistan, which is a total shithole now. It's totally descended into chaos. Uh, there was the bomber that, you know, suicide bomber killed 150 people right in Kabul, right in the capital, right next to the president. And then you had protesters came out in order to protest against the suicide bombers. Then the police started shooting the protesters. So which side are you guys on? Are you the suicide bombers? Are you the, I guess, state official sanctioned terrorist in Yemen? You had that little girl saying, quit bombing us. Uh, you, you know, killed an eight-year-old girl in Yemen. Our government did. That was set up by Obama, right? So, yes, he was an imperialist. Obama should have been impeached. So should have Bill Clinton and any other motherfucker that has declared war without first getting congressional approval. That's how our Constitution works. That's how our government works. That's how our country is supposed to work. Unless, of course, we don't live by the rule of law anymore. Are you all just doing whatever the fuck you all can do to get, you know, whatever you all can get away with. That's what you guys are going to do. Whatever you all can get away with, you're going to carry on doing that, even if it means it's unconstitutional. Let's work this thing out. People want to say, well, but Pence, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's supposed to shut down all argument, right? But Pence, you fuckers love Donald Trump. You cannot say anything against him. You respect his power, and you respect his might. That's why you'll, uh, Hillary Clinton is a political corpse. If she does try to emerge, if they do try to run, okay, that's super fucked up. Uh, but in my eyes, she's done. She's done for. If anything, she's only kind of coming out just to have some legitimacy so she can might be a, you know, commentator on MSNBC or some shit, but in terms of her being the president, see, we've already rejected her twice. Why would you think she's coming back? You guys are still pissed off at all the Hillary lovers, and yeah, be pissed off at the Hillary lovers, because they fucking suck. They fucking suck. They told us to get in line, and they were dicks about it. They were dicks. Just do your duty, do whatever the fuck, well, you need to do your job and get a good candidate. You need to get, you got three years. Get a fucking good candidate. Keep on talking about this. So when it comes to November 2018, that's going to be the midterm elections. And it happened in Bill Clinton's era. It happened in Obama. It happened during Bush. Every time you get a brand new president, right, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, every time you get one that changes the political party, you're going to have a counterinsurgency. You're going to have a counter, I guess, revolution, uh, you know, by design, if you call Trump the revolution. I think he's the counter-revolution, right? Why else would Mitch McConnell love him? Uh, but... Uh, and so the actual revolution is going to sweep up in America on November 8, 2018. On November 8, 2018, you have 33 senators are up for re-election. You have 400 or so, like the overwhelming vast majority of the House of Representatives who's up for re-election. And this is going to be the midterms. This is going to be when the Democrats actually get it, you know, show what the hell is going on. But we need pro-impeachment the John, the Adoros, we don't need the fucking Jimmy Doors, all the Ben Mankiewicz, friends of Ben Mankiewicz. Remember when y'all had solidarity? Oh yeah, y'all didn't have solidarity, but make sure you fucking respect that asshole, 
and you want to sit there and be like, well, oh, we, we're not going to impeach him. Don't pick on Trump. Fuck you, you scared motherfuckers, you weak-willed fucking low life. Okay, so uh, the argument, Jimmy Dore made a joke, and that's why, uh, you know, I like Jimmy Dore. That's why it upsets me that he doesn't believe the way I believe. But uh, ultimately, when it comes to impeachment, they say <laughs> his joke was, if you impeach Trump, we need to impeach Trump so we can get to the business of impeaching Pitts. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right, Jimmy. You're on. Jimmy is the one that said vote for Jill Stein because we could use Trump, you know, as a person to rally around. Oh, so that's all we're going to do is just prop him up, prop him up, and just rally around propping Trump up. I absolutely despise that he's the president. I cannot. This is bullshit. And uh, he's, you know, the alternative right, the rise of the alternative right. We could have very much had a Bernie Sanders country. We could have. You're right, but we didn't. You're all a bunch of fucking, you know, uh, democracy riggers. You don't want to do ranked choice voting, you assholes. And you guys are scared to impeach Trump. You're fucking scared to impeach him. And that's, you know, I think that's bullshit. So let's unravel this. You know, you want to say butt pinch and that's supposed to shut the argument up? Fuck you. Fuck that. Maybe that's why Pence was chosen, just to shut you right the fuck up. So if we're going to impeach... This isn't going to be like, you know, eventually it's just you're going to have to just walk out of the White House and you quit, you resign. You're telling me if Trump resigned, you wouldn't accept that? You'd be like, no, no, Pence is, you know what I mean? You would be like, no, Trump, please come back. Please, Trump, right? Less of the two evils, right? You're choosing Trump over Now, West, ask you assholes, would you vote for David Duke or Donald Trump? You guys would vote for Donald Trump, right? And do you want Mike Pence or Trump? No, Trump, please come back. Don't quit. Don't resign on us. That's Jimmy Dore and Johnny Adoro's fucking position. Probably because it's Jinx's position and they can't think for themselves. But let's think about this. Okay, so 2018, November 2018, right now it's, you know, June, okay? So that gives us a year and a half, a year and a half to work on impeachment. What are we going to impeach him on? War crimes. We're going to end this fucking war. Jimmy Dore, you got a plan to end the war? Jimmy Dore, you got a plan to make sure uh, Trump doesn't drop nukes? Hell, when it comes to having more sense, doesn't uh, Mike Pence, I think I would rather, I'd trust Mike Pence with the nukes over Donald. But you guys are saying, no, let's, let's have Donald keep the nukes. Maybe he'll drop one off and then politically, you know, that would be wonderful for the Democrats. Get the fuck out of here. You guys are fucking the world serious work. You fucking progressives, are you all actually, you guys are a bunch of weak motherfuckers. Okay, so the weak progressives who go on and on all day long about how shitty Hillary was, and I'm sorry that the Hillary haters treated you so bad. They are stuck up. They're just like her. They're psychopaths who don't give a fuck about anybody, and they just say, you know, uh, believe me just because. Nope, not going to believe you just because. Not going to happen. You got to fucking convince me. You got to prove it to me. So, um, you know, I'm sorry that you guys are so pissed off about that. Still be pissed off. I hope Seth uh, Rich's, you know, uh, killers are brought to justice. But we do need to get, you know, fucking, in, we got to impeach Trump. We got to impeach Trump to stop the war. How else are we going to stop the war? If you don't have any other fucking plan, it's because you guys are just a bunch of scared assholes. That's the reason why you can't, or maybe uh, secretly you love Trump. I cannot think of any other reason why you would be against impeaching Trump. Okay, so let's break this down. Let's break this down. How does uh, Donald Trump... You know, what's it look like when he gets impeached? It's going to be so good for the Republicans, right? You Republicans to control the Senate and you control the House. So uh, literally, impeachment is absolutely impossible. You all have no power, no ability whatsoever to impeach Trump. And I'm not saying impeach Trump over the dumb shit with Russia Gate and, you know, uh, obstruction of justice. There might be something there, but, you know, he's going to get a buy. He's going to get a mulligan. He's, you know, just started being president. So that shit's not going to go down. But, you know, the St. Patrick's Massacre? which killed 300 innocent civilians in Iraq, that's impeachable. You know that eight-year-old girl in Yemen, that's impeachable. You know how we're giving money to Saudi Arabia and letting them starve all of Yemen. You know how we got boots on the ground. You know how we're bombing people in Afghanistan and Pakistan. These are war crimes. We're bombing hospitals. We're bombing schools. We're bombing anybody and everybody, civilians. We're going after the fucking families, even the little babies, even the children, right? That's who we're declared enemy, and it's against Muslims. We declared a war on Muslims, on Islam. This is the problem with everybody in the protest industry. I mean, go all the way down, all the way up to the top to Noam Chomsky. He wasn't excited about Bernie Sanders. Seth Meyers might have actually got Donald Trump to run, but his ratings are top-notch. MSNBC backed Hillary 100%, but they're criticizing Trump. My God, you know, Gene Ugar, these people, you know, Stephen Colbert, their ratings are through the fucking roof. 
No wonder they were, you know, not so excited about Bernie. No wonder they didn't get behind Bernie as soon as he came out there. I was behind Bernie the first fucking moment he decided to, the first moment he declared. As soon as he declared that he was running for president, I'm more educated than Bill Maher, and I knew that Bernie Sanders was better than Hillary fucking Clinton. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Is there even a comparison there? I mean, uh, Bernie voted for the Kosovo War, but Hillary is such a hawk, it makes Bernie look like Gandhi or MLK. So, I won't. Okay, so let's get down to the business of impeachment. What does that look like? So for the next year and a half, every single fucking war crime is going to be pointed out. Every single fucking bullshit, uh, innocent civilian, every child that is fucking killed. Those are war crimes. Fuck the war. The war, we got to end the war or the war is going to end us. And we got to be fucking serious about this shit. We got to be serious. Yeah, y'all can do this incrementalism bullshit, John E. Adora, <laughs> laughing and carrying on. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you're the, you know, Syrian that has a bomb about to fucking blow up in your face, I don't think we can uh, play your political games and just uh, vote for the lesser of the two fucking evils. We got to end the war. Yeah, you say, Jimmy Dore, you want to prop uh, Trump up? Okay, well, there he is. Now let's impeach the man. Let's impeach the man for war crimes, and then we stop the war forever. Then you say, well, Mike Pence will get in there. Well, uh, Donald Trump just got fucking impeached. What the fuck is Mike Pence going to be able to do? He's going to continue bombing. He's got the entire military. He's going to continue using it. He's a little fucking child with all these, you know, and not just nukes, but Tomahawk missiles and uh, F-35s. He's got every goddamn piece of equipment and every fucking military man under his command. And Jimmy Dore says, ah, that's okay. I'm a comedian. I just want to make you laugh. <laughs> we might all die. <laughs> That's not, you know, yeah, that's, uh, I'll give you a nervous laughter, but it's not fucking funny. It's terrifying. That might be why you get to laugh, but what's your fucking plan? Be a bitch about fucking impeachment, but you don't have a fucking, you know, stop uh, Trump using nuke plan. You don't have a stop war plan. So, okay, we impeach Trump. Let's assume it happens in a year and a half from now. The November 8th, 2018, the House is swept by Democrats and lefties and Greens and progressives. Uh, Pro-impeachment. For the true blue progressives, those who aren't like Jimmy Dora and uh, Johnny Adora and, uh, you know, and Kyle Kalinske and uh, Jink Ugar. Hi, I'm Jink. <laughs> so we get a bunch of uh, anti-fucking, you know, pro-impeachment Democrats or lefties or liberals or Greens or independents. Or socialists. Well, let's get some socialists in there. Okay, so we get a whole bunch of socialists that's elected to, to the U.S. Congress in November 2018. Not, you know, socialism. All oh, you can see, anti-Trump. Okay, so now we got the majority. We got the majority of the House. Do we win the Senate? I don't know. There's 33 senators there, and then we also got 13 governors, including Colorado, including this state. Okay, so we get... Uh, the senators, I don't know if we flip it, but oh my God, let's get this fucking Senate. All right, so we get the Senate, we get the House, we impeach Trump. We impeach Trump. We've, you know, the brand new Socialist Congress has impeached Trump now for war crimes, right? No, you're a war criminal, Trump, you don't get to be president. We just kicked that fucking guy out of office. Now he has no power. Now you have this Mike Pence character. He gets up there. So it's 2019. 2019. Uh, what, 2020 is the next presidential election. So Mike Pence has two fucking years, two years to get his agenda, you know, to get America rolling and working to however it is he wants to be. You know, what did uh, Mitch McConnell say? We're going to make sure Obama's a one-termer, so up, keep obstructing. Or, you know, let's see what fucking Pence does. If he doesn't uh, commit war crimes, well, he's off the hook now, isn't he? But as soon as he drops a fucking bomb in Nicaragua and Cuba and Haiti and Somalia, Pakistan, Yemen, whatever country Mike Pence feels like he could drop a bomb on without getting the Declaration of Congress, or the U.S. Constitution says that we have, you know, war powers as vested in Congress. Congress has the war powers. It says Congress has the war powers and they didn't give the authorization for the war, why the fuck are we still in war? Why do we let Obama get away with it? Why are, we let, why are we letting Trump get away with it every day? Every day we're making it institutionalized. You guys sit there and mock, you know, Fareed Zarkari, you know, Zarkari or whatever, for saying now he's the president. The point of that is if you could drop the mother of all bombs on a fucking nation and the American people and the Democrats and nobody fucking stands up about this shit, 
well, you know, we don't want to impeach him. That, that'd be really bad for who? The fucking Republicans? For Trump? It'd be very good for the country. I mean, how you guys want to keep Trump there just so you uh, protest industry motherfuckers can keep on making money? Throw tomatoes. Haha, <laughs> look at Orange Face. He is so stupid. Make sure that Seth Meyers continues to make money. And I like Seth Meyers. I watch Seth Meyers. There is a catharsis to there. But I also know that there's a responsibility behind it. So once I'm finished laughing at the guy, then I'm saying, okay, let's be serious. Let's impeach him. But you all just want to keep laughing at him and saying, look how stupid it is. Look how dumb he is. Look how bad he's making America. You want to destroy this country. Because what? If we're in a fucking Great Depression, I guess your ratings would be through the fucking roof. Right? Oh, my God, so many people be, need comedians, right? What else do we have but to laugh? Well, we need a Jimmy Dore to be like, hey, look at that. Your children have uh, nuclear poisoning. Ha, ha, ha. You have radiation. You know, look at your kid. It's got three eyes. Funny shit, Jimmy Dore. Not, that's not how I want my country to go to. So he's making, and then this premium, the Young Turks is only for, you know, you got to pay a premium. So only the middle class can get the news of the Young Turks, right? No poor people can understand or get what the fuck they're saying. This video is just to make the, the case for it, okay? To uh, envision of how this thing would actually unravel. Just being like, but Pence, yeah, Indiana, Jamie Bales. She wants to sit there and say, but Pence, I live in Indiana. I know how he is. But then when I said stop Republicans, she goes, oh, I'm not into that partisan shit. And then I do point out that Hillary Clinton won the uh, popular vote. Fuck the electoral college. Fuck them super delegates. Fuck this elite bullshit. This two-party system. We need ranked choice voting. Still winner take all. Republicans and Democrats will probably still win a whole bunch of fucking seats. But you'll also be given independence a chance. I know you don't want any competition because you guys are a bunch of monopolists and just say only we are the ones allowed to run every goddamn thing. But that's what the owners say. That's the fucking problem. That's the fucking problem. So impeach Trump. We got to impeach Trump. Let's envision this. Let's, let me get back to envisioning it. Okay, so now we have Trump is impeached in the end of envisioning a dream uh, Congress, but it'll probably be, you know, a little bit closer than that. So let's actually assume that there's a whole bunch of corporatist Democrats and there's progressives, more, in, you know, Greens and independents. But they uh, are all pro-impeachment. We impeach Trump. P Trump is now impeached for war crimes. You're going to tell me that Mike Pence is going to get in there and uh, he's going to drop bombs and, you know, do more war crimes? Fuck that. He won't do that. If he does do that, we impeach Pence. We impeach Pence. So for a year and a half, we point out all these war crimes. And then the impeachment trial, my God, talk about a media circus. Today with uh, Comey was a huge, big media circus, right? Because the fucking media thinks that they're going to impeach Trump over this shit. They're not going to impeach Trump over this shit. We're going to impeach him over war crimes because he's a war criminal. He's killing children. Why did that shit happen in Manhattan? Because of the Syria bombing. It's 2017 right now. It's June. It's in the middle of 2017. He's going to be president. Don't worry, Jimmy Dore. You'll get to have jokes for the next six months, and then the next year after that, you get a year and a half. Ian, Eodoro, and Jink Ugar, you'll make your fucking money, okay? I know you guys are a bunch of stuck-up elitist fucking snobs, uh, but when it comes to impeaching Trump, this is exactly what I want. I don't want him to be president. You assholes do. So uh, by envisioning it, let's see what happens. How does this unravel? We'll get our dream Congress or our mixed Congress, but they're pro impeachers. We just kicked out a fucking president for war crimes. Mike Pence is going to get up there. Now, when you put them side by side, is he that much worse? You know, he signed the Religious Freedom Act. Trump did. So, you know, uh, he does hate gay people a lot more. I'll give you that. So when you put them side by side, what, how are the issues? You know, he, I'll give you that he's actually more conservative. Pence is more conservative make the impeachment of Mike Pence that much more important. Pence is the establishment's guy in case Trump doesn't work out. Then, like Jesse Ventura said, you know, that was the indication that Trump, you know, something was going to happen to the guy uh, because, you know, they forced him to pick Mike Pence. So now you got an establishment man. Well, uh, Trump is very much establishment, very much right wing. He's doing exactly what the deep state wants. He said no war in Syria. Now he's dropping bombs in Syria. So Trump is definitely in favor of war. He's definitely, you know, an imperialist, and he's very right-wing, so he's a typical fucking Republican. How much worse is Pence? I don't know. If you put them side by side, I bet you there's some things that are worse, and I bet you there's some things that are better. He's sane, right? He, I mean, sanity, that's kind of important, right? And um, 
They keep saying, well, he talks on Twitter, so we get to hear all his thoughts. And, my God, you guys are defending Trump so fucking much. So much. I'd rather have Trump than Pence. Let's your no way we can lose. There's no way we can lose. Okay, so we build up this movement. We get this impeachment proceedings. We got the entire world paying attention to what the fuck America is doing. We're actually, you progressives, we actually got some backbone. We actually got some spine. We're actually going to do something for a fucking change. You know, I know you all like to report about all the fucking police brutality shit, but you don't actually see how they actually do. And sometimes you don't even fucking report them. Sometimes you all don't even report true blue progressives who actually run. So, God, you guys are very important fucking gatekeepers, aren't you? We do need an independent media, and if you got a product, right, then you have something that, you know, the story of what is going on. You know, I do tune into you, but I also, you know, with reservations. So, essentially, I'm just coming into my own. You guys are all my liberal heroes, right, Chomsky. But when Chomsky wasn't in favor of Bernie Sanders, when he was like, well, I didn't really, I, I break up the banks, I, who knows? Who knows if that's a good idea? I haven't really thought about that. Well, why do you need to make that exception? year and a half, point out all the war crimes because we're good people and we don't like war. Revolution is the only type of decent war, so fuck all war. If we're not engaging in a revolution or if we're not helping another people's revolution, stay the fuck out. War is going to put it into us. War is murder. War is murder. Revolution is the only time that massive war is okay because it's changing, you know, it's revolution. So... When it comes to what, how this thing is going to unravel, we get this big, you know, it would be a big media circus, but we're working actually on impeaching him, so he gets all this publicity, right? They elected Donald Trump. That's who the Republican Party said that. That's who should be their standard bearer. He gets in there. We impeach him. That's embarrassing. That's shameful. Now everybody is saying, well, fuck, you know, the Democrat or the Republicans, they can't even, you know, get a president in there who's lawful, who can listen to the Constitution. I mean, does anybody give a shit about the Constitution? Is it, is it just me? I thought the whole, you know, entire United States government is based upon the Constitution. The Supreme Court's a bunch of pa uh, cowards, too. They won't even rule on it. They didn't even rule on Vietnam about the War Powers Clause because they knew that Nixon was in the fucking wrong. But they're a bunch of, you know, uh, scared Uncle Toms. They're all a bunch of Bill Mars and fucking Seth MacFarlane's. Hey, you need to do what we say and listen to what we say because we're so much smarter and better than you and we don't care about your poverty or if it's bombing Syria. We don't. Get the fuck out of here. So uh, you're going to have this big impeachment trial for Donald Trump. It's embarrassing. It's horrible for the Republicans. He gets ousted. Oh, my God. That means Mike Pence has got to pick up the pieces and really change this shit because that embarrasses the Republican Party. It might shame the Republican Party forever. Not only do you get rid of Pence or not only do you get rid of Trump, for impeaching him for war crimes, but you might get rid of the entire fucking Republican Party, okay? So, uh, Mike Pence gets up after this horrible debacle, gets up there, after this horrible debacle, this very embarrassing uh, affair. I think there probably will be a kind of civil war amongst the Republicans, because you need to get your shit together. This is do or die time. You got to make sure Mike Pence makes the good decisions. Make sure he gets this uh, single payer health care. Make sure he legalizes marijuana in the war on drugs. Stop the massive incarceration. Stop the militarization of the police. Stop the fucking war. And actually get a good president. Okay, you say, well, that's not Mike Pence. He's to the right. We just kicked out a fucking Republican. We got the majority of the House. We got the majority of the Senate. You think we're going to allow Mike Pence to, what, pass, uh, let's go hunt the gay people fucking bill? Uh, are you fucking mental? Are you fucked up? You're not, you're not really thinking about this, you know, how this is going to really unravel. You're just kind of like, but Pence, I'm so smart. Nah, -uh, because if you impeach the president, then you get the vice president. That's who's next. I know stuff. By uh, 2019, we have President Mike Pence. I'll call you President Pence if we impeach Trump. Yes, Mr. Pence, what will be your uh, bidding, right? What will be your bidding? Now, uh, Mr. President, what, what, would, what would be your bidding? Oh, you want to go after the gays? Well, fuck you. You know, we went ahead and <laughs> you want to bomb another third world country? Good. We can impeach you. Okay, so now we got another impeachment proceedings, right? We just did it once. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to kick two fucking Republicans to the fucking curb. You assholes want to go after the damn Democrats and give the fucking Republicans a pass. Oh, my God. I can't stand you motherfuckers. These are the same people that don't stand up to the Ku Klux Klan, but then you'll be like, that's race, like little tiny shit that isn't, and you fucking disqualify racism and sexism because you point out little shit. <sighs> so you let the Klan get away with their fucking bullshit. Remember when he wouldn't disavow David Duke? Remember when Trump was like, I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah, because you need that white supremacist.
Let's assume Mike Pence is a good president. Let's assume that the Congress can fucking manhandle Mike Pence to get us all the progressive measures that we actually want. And then he's a conservative, so we've got a fucking conservative signing all these liberal ideas. Oh, my God, the American people, they, you have to accept it. You've got to fucking take it, right? you got to fucking accept it, <laughs> shit. If a conservative signs a liberal piece of legislation, then everybody's on board with this shit, right? So uh, let's assume he's a good president. Let's say we, after impeaching Trump, we stop the war. We stop the war and nobody dies anymore. Mike Pence doesn't even dare think about bombing another motherfucker ever in this entire globe. Not without the consent of Congress, not without a declaration of war, not without ignoring the Constitution or the War Powers Resolution in 1973, without ignoring the United Nations, which was the greatest generation's legacy to stop one country from invading another country. We stop the war. If Mike Pence, if Trump is impeached, Mike Pence will get the lesson. If he gets the lesson, we've ended the war. We've ended the war. We finally did it. Progressives, we finally accomplished something. We finally were successful with a good, strong, progressive idea. Fuck the war. Fuck all these wars. Seven different countries, 20 different shadow wars in Africa. We're es escalating Afghanistan. It's total shit. Oh, we got boots on the ground in Somalia. We're bombing everybody. And then with the shadow wars in Africa, that's how Vietnam started. First it was Eisenhower, then Truman, and then JFK, then LBJ, then Nixon. So we had all these presidents that was involved in Vietnam. It didn't get big until JFK actually had an official bombing. And then you had LBJ that escalated the shit out of it. Now we're in a real fucking war. But it's still a conflict because they want to go ahead and, uh, you know, skirt the fucking Constitution. If you drop bombs in another country, that's a war. That's a war. You invaded another country and you killed some of their people, that's a war. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you call it. Hey, Jimmy Doors and Johnny Adoro Lowe's and um, Gene Ugars and all you other fucking sycophants, the same assholes, you know, uh, especially all you Hillary Clinton lovers, the same assholes that said, no, I'm not going to vote for, I I'm proud of my vote. I'm glad I voted for Jill Stein, and uh, I'll vote for Jill Stein again until you Democrats learn what the fuck is going on. And you're pro progressives, too. You guys are a bunch of, God damn it. It's almost like you guys are trying to make me a fascist progressive. It's almost like you're trying to make me, you know, you need someone strong to get the progressive ideas in there, right? If you guys are going to be like, well, we can't impeach him. We just can't do it. Pence. We're going to get Pence. <laughs> if we end the war, then we just, you know, we ended the war. If he continues to bomb people... Now we have another impeachment proceedings, more embarrassment for the Republican. We kick two fucking Republicans out. How do the Republicans recover from that? The reason why you're against it. The reason why you're against it is because it's a good idea. It's a good idea that'll work. It's a good idea that would work. It would embarrass Trump. It would embarrass the Republican Party forever. They would never fucking return. My God, the Republican Party never returns? So then the conversation between the Democrats, between your Bernie supporters and your Hillary supporters... That's the actual conversation that America has now, isn't it? Now we actually get to say, do we want a progressive or do we want a right-wing person? We want a progressive this year. Now we want a right-wing this year. We want a progressive this year, but we don't have that conversation. Do you want the right-wing on this side or do you want the right-wing on this side? Which puppet do you want? Ugh. So, um, you know, and then Pence will have two years. Pence will have two years, 2019, 2020, and now... You can get Bernie Sanders. He's president now. Pence doesn't get his agenda up. He, his entire system is assuming the worst, right? You hope for the best, assume the worst. So with Mike Pence, let's say he gets in there and he does get some, you know, uh, some of his agenda. Let's say he does. He's only got two years. And then how good is that agenda going to, you know, uh, get locked in? Are we going to institutionalize this agenda? My God, you impeach Trump, you're guaranteed Bernie Sanders. Uh, president for 22, uh, 2020. You guaranteed it, but y'all don't want Bernie Sanders. You guys are just like the DNC. You guys, Hillary Clinton is you. You are Hillary Clinton. You're fucking Hillary. Would Hillary ever impeach Trump? I bet she'd be like, no, we can't impeach him, really? Remember when uh, Gal Finakis asked her if she was going to lead the Civil War? She very much could have, right? She's the part of the resistance now. Yeah, you guys are the resistance. Hillary is the resistance. Does anybody actually, you know, uh, the revolutionary who is victorious, or are we just a bunch of rebelling losers? Re rebellion is when you lose. A revolution is when you succeed. In conclusion, having a president pence by 2019 isn't bad either way you go. He's only got two years for his things to become institutionalized. If he does get anything passed, which is going to be very 
hard for him to do since the Congress just kicked out the goddamn, you know, warmonger and just ended the war. So we just kicked out one president. He's going to be nervous as fuck. This will put a split between the Republicans because you really have to, you know, are you going to listen to the Congress? Are you going to keep on being this, you know, unilateral fucking uh, dictator fascist asshole? You keep on being a dictator, he's going to, you know, fuck up, drop some bombs, and then it's gone. So there will be a bunch of discussions. The Republican Party will be in shambles. Uh, Pence won't have that much time in order to get anything. Two years, I don't think in two years you're going to be like, oh, I, I love that President Pence. He really is doing something. That President Pence is something. No. Uh, it, he won't be able to get anything accomplished. And then you got, you know, a Democrat. Like for some of you Nancy boys, some of you snowflakes, Kyle Kalinske, you're a snowflake. Okay, I know you want to look tough on camera. Uh, I have wanted to do something just like Kyle Kalinske, but see, I get robbed because I live in fucking poverty, and motherfuckers can rob me, okay? So anytime I get anything started, right, now I have no equipment, now I'm just back on, you know, um, with dust in my fucking pocket. So this is why I think out of political necessity, out of poverty, shit's got to change. Why do we have poverty? Because you middle-class bourgeoisie tolerate it. You're going to tolerate Trump because it don't affect you. You went right back in the same fucking bubble. Why did Hillary win? Because you guys are stuck in a fucking bubble. And now you're going to go right back in there. Either we'll get a Democrat president or we'll get a progressive green in there if we impeach Trump. If we're strong enough and brave enough in order to impeach Trump for war crimes. And we should do it. We should do it.